creating an integrated circuit or a few integrated circuits, uh, recent integrated circuits that I've uh, thought about, although not completely to the fabrication level. That is the physical diagram of the actual uh, patterns of transistors, uh, yet at least partially towards that. Uh, I've been thinking about uh, integrated circuits that benefit babies. Uh, one of these is uh, right now uh, there are babies. Uh, babies are people who have uh, uh, recently uh, come out of their mother's uterus and uh, they don't know how to talk. And uh, their brain gets twice as big during the first year as when they come out of their mother's uterus. And uh, they they don't know how to do things like uh, grab something and move it from one place to another. And one of the things that um, the women that give birth to babies do is they feed them so that they have um, nutritional sufficiency. Uh, one of the things that happens when babies eat food is that there's a emotional communication between uh, the person and the baby, as well as an effort at uh, actually accomplishing something, which is the uh, the eating of the actual food. Um, I saw a video on YouTube where a person was trying to feed the baby, and the baby really had much more fun when the person used the feeding utensil uh, to make a little musical sound. Um, whether the baby lacked a sense of hunger or the uh, act of um, somehow navigating the utensil to the mouth was so much more complicated than the pretty musical sound that they just preferred the pretty musical sound. Um, so this is a way that babies can eat food yet be happier because I believe that they would learn the physical coordination skills to uh, eat food all on their own eventually, even if uh, there was an absence of communication about this with uh, the people who are feeding them. Uh, there was a, or is, a kind of thing called a camelback. It's a uh, pouch filled with water. And I think that I've seen advertisements where bicyclists or other kinds of athletes will have this. And they wear it like a backpack. And then kind of like a, a microphone headset, it goes up to near the mouth, and the person just turns their head and has a sip of water. And uh, that way they can drink all the water they want without uh, uh, using their hands, because their hands are busy like doing other things, uh, like you know, bicycling or something like that. Uh, so it occurred to me that uh, babies could eat baby food with a camelback. And because lots of baby food is uh, semi-liquid anyway, all that the uh, camelback baby food feeder would have to do is it would have something uh, like what's called a peristalsis pump, uh, which is a pump that uh, sort of massages the tube on the outside of the tube without actually touching the fluid at the tube. Uh, that's a hygienic benefit. Uh, to move through the tube and then out to the mouth where the baby would eat it. Um, the computer control for this is the IC that I thought of. And basically what it would do is the computer program would notice when the baby was making noises that suggested that the baby might be hungry, like maybe babies fuss a little bit when they're hungry or something like that, or maybe they make certain kinds of noises. And maybe they make other kinds of noises when they're happy and full. And uh, then the uh, computer would also figure out if the baby was sucking on the uh, um, camelback tube. And then it would dispense the baby food. And it's even possible that it could dispense flavorings along with the baby food to make the food even more delicious than it would ordinarily be, uh, as well as uh, keep a, a record of the amount of uh, calories consumed. So the uh, amount of baby food, its nutritional content, and its flavor could all be optimized, as well as from the baby's perspective, there would be only beneficial emotions at the time of feeding. That would mean that there was a complete absence of 
uh, striving difficulty or confusing emotional communications with uh, like a grown-up while it was eating. Uh, all of those things could then be measured to see if they had a beneficial effect on the person's entire life. So it's uh, emotionally pleasant baby feeding. Uh, and then what the, uh, the other humans that like interacting with the baby could do is they could make sure that their interactions with the baby were mutually pleasant at all times. Um, and that would perhaps benefit the entire uh, baby raising process. Now, at an integrated circuit level, here's, here's, here's some of the approaches. Now, what I've described could obviously be done quite rapidly with almost any advanced microprocessor. Right? Um, so the IC that does this, you, you have a choice. You can just use a microprocessor and some sensors, or you can actually create a customized microprocessor that uh, uses uh, just a few sensors very well to be made very cheaply. And the reason you do that is because if you want to make one of these camelback things that senses the composition of the food as well as senses the sounds the baby's making uh, that, that costs like less than 30 cents, that's cheaper than a microprocessor, which might cost 70 cents or something like that, right? Um, so that's a reason to create a customized IC with that application rather than use a microprocessor. 